Hello and uh, welcome to the Cat Collective. My name is Nina and I'm the channel for this channel. And yeah, let's start. Um, there are some additional um, things in the litter box below that you can check out, um, like the decks that I'm using and stuff like that. So uh, just say it's the first video and I kind of feel not prepared to do this and it's in the middle of the night um <laughs> and i'm uh i've been thinking the whole day about should i should i not start this should i should i and i'm just doing it now so um this is your first message it's never the right time to start something but what are you gone <laughs> yeah yeah, so maybe it's not just my energy, it's your energy probably as well, um, because um, this uh, figure is just looking out at, you know, in the middle of the water and looking out um, to the horizon and there are lot, so many stars to look at, right? Quite sparkly and I like the energy, so... This also looks very much uncertain and um, for me um, today has been quite emotional um, so it might be your energy as well I think because um, it's just um, I, I had the feeling over the last few days that I was picking up something and um, healing through things and sometimes it feels so big that it, it's not just mine so yeah the tower wow <laughs> see healing through things and okay Some cards. um i don't go by um the traditional meanings i interpret the art like i um look at the art and yeah therefore let's Pull some more cards. And those are my own cards. I made them myself. So you cannot find this deck. It's, a, it's my own spiritual language. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this card, okay. I will tell you what the verb means in a minute. <laughs> Okay, but first let's let's look at the <laughs> the tower and everything else. So yeah, but for me it's clearly um, not as a, as dark as the usual traditional tower meaning, um, especially with the burp. Um, and for me it's yeah. So if you look at the overall energies, um, I think. Um, what you really have to release is um, self-doubt about something you, you want to achieve, you know. Um, we often, you know, we beat ourselves up for things that not, didn't even happen yet. <laughs> and, you know, we, we make up um, some worst case scenarios in our heads, you know. Like, take a look at the shadow, right? And then we end up like this. And uh, we just, you know, overthink things and whatever. And just, you know, un unstopping head chatter. And um, it's clearly that, um, you know, what are you got? we have to release this. We have to... care for ourselves and not um, just, um, you know, beat ourselves up um, beforehand, you know, and um, since it's never the right time to start something, because there's always something in the way, if you want to find reasons, you will, <laughs> um, so um, yeah those two cards you know clouds is for me cl clearly a dream card you know it's um having your head in the clouds and dreaming about things 
and maybe you are dreaming about a specific individual since this is um um you know a person but um it could also be um that this is your um masculine energy that wants to come forward um because um the masculine energy is quite um you know you're um taking things into your own hands and you are becoming your own leader and you're starting um you 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 are maybe currently just um <laughs> you know, in the skies with all your dreams and your passions and whatever project you would like to start. Um, maybe just like me, um, having a fresh YouTube channel and considering whether this is the right journey to, to, to take or not. But um, if there's something sh sure is that you can never be sure if you really want to continue with this forever. But um, the importance lies in taking the first step and here comes the burp. <laughs> yeah, so what do you have to release? <laughs> That's a very special card. It's uh, one of the major arcanas of my own deck. And it means basically that you have to release something um, to, be able to be able to move forward. Um, this basically means, you know, when you burp, you, um, you have collected some air and the air wants to come out, right? So... <laughs> That's what it's doing. It's like <laughs> coming out of your system. Um, yeah. So this wants to happen. And therefore, then you will, um, you know, go forward and you will you will actually achieve something very nice. Look at that. Look, it's a very, very happy card, you know. Just uh, have to um, take the first steps and um, release your negativity. And your doubts and your fears and just do it for a while and see how it goes if it's good go with it you know but if it's in your head if it's living in your head rent free right if it's just existing there you know if it's a dream passion whatever and it's there in your head already in your you're, you're dreaming about it daydreaming night dreaming whatever whatever you are doing then this means that it's um it's possible you know it's a possibility and if you don't act on it it will not happen so yeah so let's see what we have oh yes look at the cat looking oh. mm -hmm. yes oh yeah it is uh, quite dark I will have to look at it a little bit further so <laughs> yeah I love this day. <laughs> it's so cute and meow. <laughs> so now let's see. So yeah, look. We are there in between the so swords and the cups. You know, standing there. What should I do? You know, is this the right move? Should I? Should I not? But you're seeing the landscape. So you know pentacles also there so everything there this card is very interesting judgment card do you see the cat in the sky this also means that your spirit team is supporting you on your way to your dreams um, and this I think I, I cannot as describe it this there's also a sword sorry i'm not really english so uh this is a sword and uh this also means the headspace right thoughts and everything so um if you see this with the with the fence there you have to break out of your your um mental clutter and just go for your 
your stars, your dreams, you know, it also, it's, a, it's a nice how it's reflected also, you know, with the stars here, right? So, um, it's very clear to me um, that um, this is the way to go. And this could be, you know, for me, those cards, this is also a very mental mentally challenging card you know so it's clearly that you are thinking too much <laughs> so um you know those thoughts you know if, if they prevent you from acting on something you want to do um they are really you know sometimes it's designed this way you know that um you have you face some challenges in between to just finally do it you might overthink things you know like this is a very um it's a competition card for me you know and it doesn't have to be this way um you know um i think um what you should trust in that there's yes there might be competition and if you have a business that you want to start or something like that there, there might be competition but it's not particularly competition it could also just be um you know you don't have to see it that way however you perceive it you will um also you know whatever you look at if you look at it like this or if you look at um you know it the other way around it could be also they could there could also be supporters there so you know um it's whatever cup you focus on um that will become um, the reality of things. And very nice um, that there's the Emperor and the Empress, um, that they are both um, in this spread. So maybe there's something um, also relationship wise that you would like to uh, go forward with, but you didn't uh, really take action yet. Hmm? Could be. <laughs> could be so it could be a nudge to be um, a little bit more proactive in this regards in general this is a call to action um clearly for me um you know it's um the first step from um, dream to reality and i really like this message so <laughs> really glad um so so far the cards you know i've i've made some private readings just to um get into the flow and everything and um yeah um the cards have been always so supportive and i'm very glad that they are like this <laughs> you know um i know you know um in spirituality it can be also um a way to deny things you know to on only search for the nice messages and everything but um you know, in a collective reading, I think it's very important that you really get uplifted because what we all need this during these days is some upliftment and some good vibes, right? So, yeah, um, pull another card to see what's going on. Some uh, more guidance, maybe. Hmm? Communication is key. So it might be uh, clearly something also um, relationship-wise that there needs to and that that some communication needs to happen. So yeah, let's get another one. Oh, but I'm, what I'm also drawn to um, are the Gemini. You know the two faces of the um, of the Gemini, um, which. It, there might be a fight of the light and the dark at the moment, um, you know, for you going on. Um, that you, you know, when, especially when you are um, right at the brink of a break breakthrough, it could be that um, you talk yourself out of things. You shouldn't really do it, you know, because it feels so big. Um, that it scares you and you would rather not do it, you know. Oh, 
how my fiery climax approaches. Yeah, as I said, um, this is because of the um, first step that needs to happen. And after that, it, it feels so much better. Look, this is my first reading um, for this channel and I already feel better. <laughs> so, it's uh, <really> cool. <laughs> that is also a message for me. <laughs> Even though I haven't pulled a zodiac sign card yet, I must say um, I do not know the zodiac sign before I make the reading because I don't want to be influenced by people I know. I want this to come out as clearly as um, the divine, divine wants it to come out. So therefore I don't know who I will tag this for. <laughs> Just yet. We will pull a card for that uh, very shortly. It will happen at the end of the reading. But now I've uh, got another art oracle card for you. No compromise is a good compromise. Blemished origins do not negate flawless conclusions. <laughs> Become ill with unhealthy perfectionism. Oh, I like the last one. It's like, you know, um, we all say, you know, the, I, I'm not sure if you have heard that, but if, if you are obsessed with things, you know, it sometimes can be a very negative thing, you know, um, it's looked at negatively. But I think um, just like me, look, I have made my own tarot deck. I, it's not just one. I've got several decks that I made. And, um, you know, um, it took me a while <laughs> and a little bit of obsessive work to get this deck done. And it's not just, you know, it's a lot, right? It's a lot of work. And I laminated all the cards myself. And this, those are the original drawings. So, yeah. Um, if you're having a project and maybe you're holding yourself back from getting um, really into it, right? Um, this is a clear guidance to just follow your bliss and just dig deep into it and just do it. And um, without doubting or overthinking or, you know, just, just do it. That's a good, good um, end for this reading. And yeah, um, I'm... This is another deck I made, and um, it's a. I think this is the most impo important message that I want to give you with my channel. And this deck is um, consists only of the major arcana, and it has uh, only one meaning. Every card, <laughs> you will see it. Everything is going to be okay. That's the meaning. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the reading and um, more information, as I mentioned, is in the litter box below. And see you next time. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Oops, uh, I forgot to pull uh, who who this reading is for. Who, who, whom? Oh, look at that. Look, see? And that's totally fine. I just have to find the cards. Where are they? Where did I? Oh, there. Okay. Okay. Um, they are not even finished yet because I don't know, like, they, they, are, they are not laminated, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see. Who <laughs> I made this reading for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Taurus. Well, okay. I'm a Taurus, so yeah, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's that. First reading. Enjoy. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.